So welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our newly renovated house. Although in the old same room, you can see we've still got a little bit of work to do in this space. But I thought today, um, because one of the things that I've been doing this week has been <laughs> unboxing everything and being reunited with some of the items in my closet that I absolutely love and I have missed that I've cherished over the years. But it could be fun to sort of look at four items in my wardrobe that I'm looking forward to wearing again and talking about how I would style them now versus how maybe I've styled them in the past. And it was really actually this particular blazer, which is kind of creeping down in the corner here from Eveline, that spawned the idea for this video. This is a blazer I haven't really worn that much in recent years and I couldn't really put a finger on why. And then just while I was sorting things out this morning, I thought I'd try it on with my outfit and I quite liked the way that it looked. And I realized the reason is because I think in my head, I associate it with a very specific outfit and I kind of need to reimagine it. So why don't we just dive into it? You might recognize some of these items, especially if you have been subscribed for many years or have been reading my blog for a long time. But yeah, we'll, we'll kick things off with this blazer. And I want to start it with the outfit that I'm wearing now, the base outfit. So this is a striped tank from Nothing Written. It actually also comes in a navy and white stripe, which is really lovely. It's just cotton stretch. And then I'm also wearing the weekday row jeans. And I'll put the sizing that I've got. Uh, I did size down one around the waist. Um, I did actually buy quite a few sizes to figure out which ones to get. Um, and I think the key difference for me here is the change in silhouette. So instead of that kind of skinny leg that cuts off just above the ankle, I'm wearing a pair of jeans that is very straight through the leg and actually basically grazes the floor. So. I have this real leg lengthening effect going on, especially with the fact that the jeans are high-waisted. And this really leans into that rule of thirds, the golden ratio that we often hear people talking about. I think the other thing is, this is obviously a very wintry kind of a texture. And uh, I feel like it's kind of counterbalanced by this tank, which does actually feel quite summery in nature. And I do just for today, because even though it's autumn here, it is quite mild. I am wearing some slide sandals and this is okay, but I don't necessarily love the overall look. So I was thinking which shoes would I actually wear this with? And I quite like to draw on the different colors that I'm wearing in my outfit. I think it can be a really simple way to create a cohesive look. So what I decided to do was wear a gray pair of heeled sandals. Obviously this is a bit of a fantasy because I'm not gonna be wearing high heels like this every single day, but this could be something I would wear maybe for a lunch out if I've got an event or I've got some sort of a work meeting um, and I wanted to feel a little bit more dressed up. Uh, and then of course for my bag, I've opted to wear a black shoulder bag. This one does have an adjustable strap and I've just kind of got it a little bit lower. And I think the size is quite well balanced with all of the proportions that I am wearing. But I like the fact that these sandals, they also give me that visual height and you can kind of see that I chose not to mix metals here. I love mixing metals, but I chose not to. I've replicated that kind of gold chain detail from the bag and these shoes too. So that is outfit number one and definitely has me a little bit more inspired to play around with this blazer and get it back in rotation because I do really love it and uh, I want to make sure that I start wearing it again as it was one of my most worn pieces for quite a number of years. Okay, so this next top feels like a real departure from what I wear now. And this top I purchased in 2017. Uh, I remember I actually bought it when I was in Dallas. It is from J. Crew, and I'm not sure if they do this exact style anymore, but I'm sure they have something similar. I was really drawn to the polka dot print. Uh, this is 100% silk, and it has this kind of ruffle detail across the front. Uh, it is a halter neck as well. I just think it's really, really sweet. And I've held on to it because of how amazing I feel every time I wear it. It was quite interesting because when I tried it on, I immediately felt like a bit of an imposter wearing it, which is strange because this felt like it was so true to my personal style for so long. And I think that's just reflective of the fact that we do go through these ebbs and flows as our lives change and also just as our tastes and preferences change, which is linked I would say slightly to the sort of trend or fashion calendar in a way. Uh, and yeah, so what I decided to do was pair this with some black trousers. And in the past, I've worn it with a skinny jean. I've worn it with a little denim mini skirt and it's felt very kind of sweet. 
This time I wanted to make it a little bit more edgy and sort of juxtapose the sweetness and prettiness of it. So the trousers, these are a wool trouser and they're again quite a straight fit. They're from Arquette. And if I can link them for my US friends, I have found somewhere you can buy Arquette. I'm going to do so down in the description box. Um, but I really like these because they're almost like a jogger, but in the wool fabrication, they feel a lot more elevated and a lot smarter. Uh, they do have that really nice long lean finish as well, like I was talking about the previous outfit. Now, I did just wear my slide sandals and I thought that that worked, but even just these three pieces together, it felt like there was something missing. And so this is where the next layer of styling comes in. And this is where I really felt like it kind of injected a bit of coolness or something that felt like it was missing. So I wanted something that was a bit more edgy to balance the prettiness. So I opted for this faux leather bomber jacket. And I really love this bomber because it almost kind of curves in slightly at the back, which is a really nice detail. I think if you're petite, it would actually have a bit more of an exaggerated effect than it has on me, someone with a longer torso. But I like that this has the quilting and the leather. The faux leather is very kind of buttery looking and it adds this nice element of shine. Leather is something that we often think of as being an edgier fabric to have in our wardrobes. And I think it counterbalances this. And also the way that the collar sits over the top of the neckline of this top, I think it covered it up really nicely in a way that, that changes the appearance of this. And that was another little detail from the styling that I really liked. Then and to add in a little bit of softness, I also wore my very, very old Fendi uh, baguette bag. This is the larger size. And I think that added in a nice little additional bit of texture, especially because it is more of a monochromatic outfit. And that's a really great way, a very simple way to add in visual depth. Okay, next item is one that I've had in my wardrobe for so, so long, and I have it in three colors, four colors, actually, I think. These are from H&M, so they're a really, really affordable pair of pants, and I think these are one of the greatest buys from there if you are kind of looking for a nice sort of peg leg tailored trouser, something to wear to work, but that you could also equally wear on the weekend as well. They're very easy to maintain, just throw them in the washing machine. They come out looking great and really, really good if you've got kids actually and you want to wear something that is uh, a little bit more tailored, but maybe with softer, cozy separates like knitwear, that sort of thing. Um, so in the past, I've often worn this with a cashmere cardigan tucked in like a top and I really, really love that look. But I wanted to do something different and I wanted to wear a tonal outfit because I do love tonal looks. I just think that they are so chic and it is a huge part of my style identity, I think. Even when I wear color, I quite often like to wear it in a very tonal way. So I want it with a t-shirt and then I was toying with what shoes to wear. So I started with ballerina flat and I didn't really like this because the shoes felt so heavy on my feet. They were really, really dark and my eyes were just completely drawn to them. So I wanted to add in that lightness. So I went with my two-tone pumps that I still need to replace. I know, I know. It's been years that I've been saying I need to replace them. Maybe now I finally will do it. These do have that black toe cap, but it doesn't feel like it is drawing as much attention away from the actual overall outfit as the previous pair were. Now, this is the base layer. So next on top, I wanted to throw on a jacket and I opted for a trench coat, something that had a bit of fluidity to it. This one's from Max Mara, but there are so many other more affordable options out there. I'll link some down in the description box. You've probably already got something in your wardrobe already, but I like that this has that uh, unstructured nature to it because I think it works really nicely with the fluid style of the trousers as well and also how drapey the t-shirt is. Now, one thing I did feel is that the outfit was a little bit one note because of the textures that I've got going on. So I've also thrown a cashmere knit around my shoulders. This acts as a little bit of a scarf as well, which I think is a great detail, great way to make some of your things a bit more functional. And then I could just throw it on if I was colder. And then I've also worn this really beautiful off-white bag as well, which matches the color of the knit. So that is probably how I'd wear these now. Now the final item to talk about is one that I've actually not had an opportunity to wear because I bought this, I'd say, just after I had our son and then 
we've been in lockdown and I got pregnant again. So this is really just asking to be worn on repeat. This is a vintage Chanel skirt. I think it's from the 2017 autumn winter collection or maybe it's 2015. Can't quite remember, but I have the actual look in my head. It's like seared to the back of my redness. Um, absolutely love the texture of the skirt. Let's just show you up close. It is really, really visually interesting. And I love these sorts of skirts because I feel like they're quite tailored uh, and they work well for my body shape. And also they show a little bit of length too, you know, they're not super reserved despite the actual silhouette having more of that reserved cut. So I wanted to balance out the structure with something that was a little bit softer. So I opted for a really oversized knit in black. This one's from the row, but you can get the exact same look with a men's cashmere sweater from Uniqlo. Just go up a couple of sizes. Trust me, save your money. <laughs> and then I wore it with also my Vivaya little pointed toe flats. Just a really easy casual look that is smartened up by the fact that the skirt is a little bit more elevated and then you've got the pointed toe flat. Now, I decided to add on that additional layer. So first thing I started with was a fluid drape trench. This one actually used to belong to my mum and I brought it home when I last went back to New Zealand for my year's 90th birthday. And I really liked this, but it wasn't quite the look I was going for. I like when you have those mismatched hemlines. I think that it's really a great way to play with proportions and also visual breaks and lines in your outfit. But I wanted something that was actually just slightly shorter than the skirt. So I opted for my Jill Sander for Uniqlo men's wool jacket and this is a really dark green very very subtle in its color but i absolutely adore it and it's so soft really high quality um, and if they do it again i recommend stamping one up because it's one of my favorites in my closet another piece i'm really excited to wear this year and uh, i really feel like this felt a bit more balanced i was still a bit umming and ahhing over the shoes and i decided to pull out some brogues that i got from karen walker I think these would look really cool with this outfit if I had some tights on. I also think this outfit would look really cool with tights and I've got these blue shearling sandals from Tibby. I think that would be a cool look. But in the end, I just settled on a ballerina flat, but my About Ariane ones that have a slight low block heel. They gave me that ladylike element, but the slouchier proportions that I've opted for with the knit and the jacket sort of balance it out and make it feel really seamless. And then my Acne Masubi bag as the finishing touch for that little bit of warmth with the color. And I also really like the origami-like detail on the sides. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some inspiration on how to pair some things that you've got in your closet or just thinking about the different ways that you can style things. I actually am really curious to know what other sorts of videos you would like to see. Uh, it's really funny. I was going through my closet and I realized that I've got so many things that you will never have seen before. Like, and this is just an example of what a collector I am. This is a bridal dress from Lover. I bought it after I got married. <laughs> I have no idea when I was thinking I was going to wear it, but it's the most stunning gown and I couldn't bear the thought of actually parting ways with it. Um, so even though it's just sitting in my closet like a museum piece, I don't really know what else to do with it. Um, so yeah, if there's any, if you want to see videos like on museum pieces I have in my closet, cause I've got, I've got a few, a handful, I'd be happy to do that. If you want to see any specific styling videos, I did a 15 ways to wear with maxi skirts recently. If you want me to do another one on a different type of item, let me know in the comments, but I'm really looking forward to bringing you a more diverse range of styling videos and also bringing back my what I wear in a week videos too, because I've missed filming those so much. But thank you so much for being here, for spending some of your day with me. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye.